Fortify yourself with moderation, for it is an impenetrable fortress. What ought one to say then as each hardship comes? I was practicing for this, I was training for this. From this instant on, vow to stop disappointing yourself. Separate yourself from the mob. Decide to be extraordinary and do what you need to do, now. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. When you are offended at any man's fault, turn to yourself and study your own failings. Then you will forget your anger. No great thing is created suddenly, any more than a bunch of grapes or a figure if you tell me that you desire a fig, I answer that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. The world turns aside to let any man pass who knows where he is going. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. Hold to your true aspirations no matter what is going on around you. The trials you encounter will introduce you to your strengths. Remain steadfast. And one day you will build something that endures, something worthy of your potential. Caretake this moment. Immerse yourself in its particulars. Respond to this person, this challenge, this deed. Quit evasions. Stop giving yourself needless trouble. It is time to really live, to fully inhabit the situation you happen to be. Seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves. On the occasion of every accident that befalls you, remember to turn to yourself and inquire what power you have for turning it to use. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Don't seek to have events happen as you wish, but wish them to happen as they do happen, and all will be well with you. Never depend on the admiration of others. There is no strength in it. Personal merit cannot be derived from an external source. Be discriminating about what images and ideas you permit into your mind. If you wish to be a writer, write. No person is free who is not master of himself. If anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what is said of you but answer, he was ignorant of my other faults, else he would not have mentioned these alone. It is impossible to begin to learn that which one thinks one already knows. The object in life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. Here is the rule to remember in the future, when anything tempts you to be bitter, not, this is a misfortune but to bear this worthily is good fortune. Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny, for what could more aptly fit your needs? You don't have to turn this into something. It doesn't have to upset you. Things can't shape our decisions by themselves. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts, therefore, guard accordingly, and take care that you entertain no notions unsuitable. Look well into thyself, there is a source of strength which will always spring up if thou wilt, always look. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. To live a good life, we have the potential for it. If we can learn to be indifferent to what makes no difference, Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now, take what's left and live it properly.
What doesn't transmit light creates its own darkness. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Loss is nothing else but change, and change is nature's delight. A man's true delight is to do the things he was made for. Your mind will take the shape of what you frequently hold in thought, for the human spirit is colored by such impressions. Very little is needed to make a happy life, it is all within yourself in your way of thinking. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. We all sorely complain of the shortness of time, and yet have much more than we know what to do with. Our lives are either spent in doing nothing at all, or in doing nothing to the purpose, or in doing nothing that we ought to do. A gem cannot be polished without friction, not a man perfected without trials, The bravest sight in the world is to see a great man struggling against adversity. Every night before going to sleep, we must ask ourselves, what weakness did I overcome today? What virtue did I acquire? Throw me to the wolves and I will return leading the pack. True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient, for he that is so wants nothing. Begin at once to live, and count each separate day as a separate life. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot whatever it may be, without wishing for what he is not. Man is troubled not by events, but the meaning he gives to them. As is a tale, so is life, not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. Life is never incomplete if it is an honorable one. At whatever point you leave life, if you leave it in the right way, it is whole. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. You want to live but do you know how to live? You are scared of dying but tell me, is the kind of life you lead really any different to being dead? Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. If you really want to escape the things that harass you, what you're needing is not to be in a different place but to be a different person. It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. If a man knows not to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Until we have begun to go without them, we fail to realize how unnecessary many things are. We've been using them not because we needed them but because we had them. He suffers more than necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. Hang on to your youthful enthusiasms, you'll be able to use them better when you're older.